Welcome back everyone, you're watching the training week from September 16th where the weekly focus was to finish up with those September 19th goals. September 19th was on the Thursday and we had a few fun weekly highlights this week with uh, me trying a few different releases as well as touching the pad on Genya which is like going back to my ancient roots. Genya was the first release I ever caught uh, probably around two decades ago. So returning to the roots but that rare vault is a you, you'll see some funny attempts at rare vault this week it was kind of ridiculous uh, some part of me like doesn't really want to go for it properly but anyway if you're new here this is a video diary i've been keeping for around the last four years where you can watch literally every single turn i've taken on the equipment and follow my build up towards all sorts of competitions international and domestic so that dive gave William a funny little surprise. I swear I told him I'm gonna test landing on my stomach in the pit, but I must have mumbled it under my breath or something. So he was not uh, expecting it. But you know, landing on your stomach in the pit, especially if you're flipping, you can get like a scorpion, an arch. So I wanted to just kind of test the waters and, and see how it felt. But uh, Will was just like extremely confused to just see me skydive into the pit and started laughing. Um, and I didn't want to land on my stomach anyway. The first little stomach landing I did where you see this one here on the Genya, I did get a little bit of a jolt. So I was like, you know what? Essence feels okay. Let's just do it on the mat instead. So that was send number one. You'll see me touch the, the pad later this, uh, later this week. So it was the light week. So I did three weeks of as intense training as I could. And this week I decided to relax, let my body recover, have a little play. And, and mostly I was focused with lower, uh, you know, things that aren't going to cause as much damage to your, to your body, to your joints. So I was playing with stoop half and gets in a little bit more. Now here, what I'm doing is I'm thinking about that Dal chip. I think I'm going to name this road to catching or at least trying all the releases as gotta catch them all like Pokemon. So Dalchev is going to be one of those tricky ones because I'm used to twisting really late off the bar. But here in the Dalchev, if you want to get that straddle cut, you kind of have to twist early so that you have time to do the straddle cut. And one problem I was facing, even just doing those drills on the trampoline, when you straddle, if, if you go back and see it, you'll see that I start to twist back from the way that I came near the end of it. Um, so I haven't quite figured out how to maintain twist in the same way and land nice and even, nice and square on my stomach. Now was this the day that... So remember there's like three goals left at this stage. One of them is hopping to one arm on P-bar. Hop quarter to one arm. There you go fam. Did it on the last week. Hop quarter to one arm. Didn't touch that second hand. So third to last goal ticked off the other two are on floor double twist punch front and a second half now if you remember a few weeks ago probably at least two weeks ago i really did uh, a big whammy on my knee and really destroyed my patella tendon so i haven't been doing much tumbling at all so you'll see how that culminated later in the video for Jaeger, I thought I'd start working all three positions right uh, from the beginning to just get my air awareness up. And you saw that I actually managed to touch the bar on the on the straddle Jaeger and the Genya. So it's quite it's quite easy to do with the uh, with that little kind of front uprise tap. You don't need to go from giant, but this one. So <laughs> that's a rare vault. That was supposed to be a revolt, and so was that. Slowly but surely is all I'm gonna say there. I just did not wanna go for that revolt. So on the Tuesday, I tried a little bit of tumbling and I even decided to go forwards. It's the front rotation that really hurts the patella. And you know, I only did that one double twist, but it was bearable. So I thought maybe on Thursday, I'll finish these goals off. Jim Hyber clip of the week. What are we at? Three, four, five, six, seven, 
Missed the eighth. We're getting close to that 10. We're getting close to that 10. I actually did 10 like a few weeks back, but then when I was deleting all the stuff that I already posted, I ended up deleting the clip. So now I'm going to have to do it again. But Thursday, Day of Destiny. Day of Destiny. It's Thursday, the 19th of September. This is where, uh, you know, the limit is. And I did it. This was uh, scary. I was going to give myself one try. I knew my patella was, was not fully healed. I knew that even one little buckle in the takeoff and I'm going to cause myself some serious damage. So I was hyper protective of, of my knee in that first tumble. But once I did that first tumble, I, I knew that the only thing left was just to put the double pike on my feet. However, unfortunately, I ended up taking three bunny hops on a, on a back double twist there. But fam, look at this. Look at this side balance. We're getting ready for this new cycle, for the new code of points. We've incorporated the balance. And finishing with the double pike. Tick. There we go. Now one more uh, kind of quantum leap was the pain through these uh, underbar swings was a lot better. Okay, I'm gonna go take a call because my phone's been going off like five times in a row just in case it's urgent. I will be back in a second. Okay, we're back. So I think I was saying that the pain in underbar swings was drastically different drastically less so much so that in the next cycles goals which we're gonna go through at the end of this video I'm gonna add back giant on Piba and there was another little hop to one arm there so I think a Gatson will be another good goal for the next cycle however I'll only have two weeks two weeks uh, because we have nationals coming up and I'm going away for another couple weeks after that so last two weeks to get some good training in. Now that was my first stoop half where I felt like, felt something like the real thing. So you can see I was very happy. I was very happy because I'm no good at this skill. I got no idea how to do it. My sense for it is really bad, but yeah, so I only managed one. I don't know where we're sitting, Thursday or Friday, but Saturday had another good one to offer. And I'm pretty excited to, to share that because I feel like it hasn't really changed much since the beginning of me training it uh, way back. Probably been, what, like three months already? Uh, and finally, there's starting to be a bit of a difference, like a actual drastic difference, though. Back on the double layout grind, decided to test out that flick flack. It's probably been a good, probably a month since I last did flick flack. And I sent a double twisting double back layout and you know it didn't feel that bad. It didn't feel bad at all, but you'll you'll notice the flick flex if you slow it down. It is not like that one. My shoulders are way behind when I'm doing the doubles out of the flick flex, so I'm still chipping away at that flick flex slowly but surely. Some open double backs, still protecting that knee. This week I'll start going over hard again, but yeah. I mean, that chest was a lot higher than I remember. I remember even without any mats entering the pit, I was kind of putting my hands on the foam as I was entering the pit, but this is two little 10 centimeter mats and my chest is up, no hands on the mats. So that goes to show making some progress. Doing some hops, replicating what it might feel like to catch a release. So, uh, you know, probably after this, break post nationals oh baby look man i forgot how good that looked like that's getting close to just looking like a normal stoop half a little bit more and and i'll be there but man it's getting it's getting closer granted i make like one out of five like that so i made kind of one on the thursday i think what is it friday today so i made one good one on the friday so if i ever do like a, a jaeger it would be from that sort of a start. I was doing some experimenting there. So goals, September 19th goals. I managed to get them all. Now all these things are uh, skills and sequences that I've done before surgery, but 
you know we, we did it all we started the pike gaylord the yamawaki the stoop half above 45 uh, i hit a couple of handstands with legs apart hop half was funny enough the most painful one yet it was the most easy one to do but it hurts more than any of the other ones because i have to pull on that over grip um and it looks like i didn't put it on long enough so we can't really discuss the rest but floor was probably the one i thought that i wouldn't get so the good news is none of those goals are rolling over into the next cycle and we get to build on them start new ones and and have some more fun stoop half kovacs in the works what do we got here so yeah it was a light week so i didn't do gay lords until the saturday so i got a mat slide since it's been a while and i did all that jaeger training so uh, i'll be honest i'm like nervous doing gay lords after doing the jaegers but look at that kick out yeah that's what i want i even arched my hips a bit there what did i finish with a couple that <laughs> i i don't like doing this this rear vault <laughs> i'm spinning the opposite way we'll get it we'll get it not gonna rush and some little jaeger maintenance so new goals new goals for october 5th october 5th will be the last training day the ideal double twist of front tuck on floor that means that the front tuck has to be short and high that I feel that a double front would be doable. That's what I mean by ideal. A back two and a half punch front tuck on floor as well. Um, that would probably be an easy one, but again, I want the front tuck to go up. Double layout, double twist on resi. I'm being a bit crazy there, but uh, you, you know, after I think I got a bit overexcited after that air track. Um, might play with some double outs today though. Pommel, five flares on low pommel and the Magia. I've only done one stockly up, so I don't know how doable this Magia is gonna be, but it's the next logical progression rings is a very big one so azarian to support with straight arms that one might have to carry carry on over you know because you, you can't just rush strength i'm going to keep doing it twice a week and see how far i can get by the end of uh this this little two week cycle handspring front on vault should be able to do in one day so that's just a matter of me making some time for vault to get it going the giant on piba like i discussed i might have to save that one just till the end because i know it's going to sting open double back over hard this time with chest above horizontal so that's going to be a good measure of uh, of the landing and the full gatson gatson's going to be difficult but you know i've hopped to one arm so making our way there high bar start pagan i'm sure i'll be able to do it just fine uh, pagan is going to be like a you know at 80 to 90 percent kind of twitch tap power so that one's gonna sting too stoop half to handstand legs together boy am i gonna be over the moon if that happens try stoop full really scary one i'm already nervous about it just thinking about it triple back uh you know i'll, I'll send one into the pit i used to do it as a kid so i'm sure that one will come back quick and of course those dismounts are uh upgraded the triple back is upgraded so might be worth a try and one i'm really excited to try flip kovax i've been waiting for it you've been waiting for it we've all been waiting for it let's flip this kovax so we can get that coleman road to 100 back in action so no world uh, clips of the week this week but i do want to ask you if there's anything you want me to break down any technique any skill uh, i'd be keen to to look at some of the best athletes in the world and compare their techniques to have a bit of a discussion for world clips of the week rather than a you know kind of a, a show and tell of of cool stuff that people are doing thanks for watching all the best till next time